Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today I'm here to show you real quick uh, the Bandai Reissue GT02. This is Robocon. Uh, just arrived in the mail this afternoon, hot off the plane from Angles.com. We thank them. Um, don't have all the exact dates and information and all of that for you for the show, although I know it was around 74 or 75. Uh, check the written review. Um, for all the details, the complete breakdown, if you need all the uh, all of that info. What I can tell you about Robocon is I grew up in Hawaii during the 70s um, and there was a network out there, Channel 13, Kiku TV. Uh, it was an independent television station based out of Honolulu, Hawaii and uh, we moved out there in 77 and you know kind of new to the area, feeling like an outsider and dad stumbled across Channel 13, and they were shown uh, Robocon, which is sort of a cute robot TV show. It was a live action show. And uh, basically, uh, it was cute robot syndrome. You know, basically, it was set in a world where robots were the norm, and they went to school to learn how to do their jobs to the very best. And, you know, hey, when I was five years old, I thought he was pretty cute. So, um, they all, you know, they showed Akumizer 3, they showed Kikaida, they showed. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Go Rangers, Jax, uh, all of that fun stuff. It was a great channel, and I have very fond memories of it. So, sadly, as I was kind of looking up some info this afternoon, it looks like the channel is pretty much gone these days. Sorry for the jerky camera there. So, so uh, I have a little soft spot. I, you know, I, I don't remember watching the show a whole lot. I don't remember it being... I know it was on the air for almost two years, but uh, I think by the time I got to see it, it was towards the tail end of its run, so I did not get a chance to really um, check out the show very long. But don't worry, the shows that followed, I, I, Channel 13 I knew very well growing up, so uh, it, w it was a good old time. So when I saw these were kicking around, I was like, oh, I gotta get one of those, and they were nice enough to uh, send it out. So let me uh, switch the mode on the camera so we can get a better look at what came in the box. Okay, so let's get a close-up look here. So his arm's pretty uh, stationary. They go up and down. Basically, this is a reissue of the original toy in half the scale. Uh, Bandai released a bunch of characters like that. Let's see, and the thumb does open. Uh, legs do move to a degree. The feet do angle a little bit. And let's get in here. Robocon's chest opened up so you could see his guts and had a little TV there and all that. See, you know, honestly, he's one of those, uh, obviously, he's a classic character if you've been following Japanese toys at all. And they give you a bunch of parts and they give you a couple of parts and pieces. Robocon was sort of uh, Inspector Gadget before Inspector Gadget hit as far as uh, having a bunch of different gizmos and functions that could happen. I'll give you two pieces here. They give you a little plug for the propeller blade. Propeller blade. Just goes into his back. He didn't have that on him all the time, but we'll leave it there for now. And of course they give you his little wheelbase, which means his legs whoop, pop off. Get back on camera here. And voila! Oops, sorry. Wrong way! I'm putting my Robocon legs on. Basically in the show he transformed into this sort of pseudo bike vehicle rolling thing. And uh, also gave you, I'm not going to take them out, but they gave you a bag full of cockroaches! Um, remember, I'm going on 30 years worth of, you know, 30 year old memories of the show. But uh, basically, uh, I remember he was terrified to death of cockroaches. It was sort of a warning joke in the show. So that's it for the things that come with Robocon. They also give you a little booklet showing you what the heck you can do with them. And then on back, of course, advertising the rest of the line. Again, these are reissues of the original uh, smaller toys, uh, but they're about half the size of the original toys. Uh, 
Trek Collection DX. I know Josh has done a couple of reviews. I believe he's got one of them, Mazinga. Okay, so, uh, like I said, it's diecast, so he's pretty much, um, with the exception of the head antenna and the pieces that you add on, he is all diecast metal. He's got a nice weight to him, even for a little guy. A lot of weight. Um, Heart, you know, either you know them and you love them, or you don't and you don't care, but uh, it's a nice little toy. I, of course, will give it a full review on CollectionDX.com, but uh, I want to thank Angles.com, and of course, you can get yours there as well. And uh, till next time, thanks for watching.